Today we've got a powerful message that's going to charge up your spirit and set your soul on fire. So, grab your Bibles, open your hearts, and let's dive into the life-transforming truth of God's Word. Our message today is centered around this powerful statement. Tension is going to be there, but never forget who you are. A winner. A victor. Whew! Doesn't that just resonate deep within you? Life is full of challenges, trials, and tensions, but we're not left to navigate them alone. No, my friends, we are winners and victors through Christ. Let's turn to the Word of God, the King James Version Bible, to anchor our message. In 1 Corinthians 15 verses 57, the Apostle Paul declares, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Victory is not a distant dream, it's a present reality for every believer. When Jesus conquered death and hell, he handed us the keys to victory. Now let's talk about that tension. Life throws challenges at us, the enemy tries to bring us down, but we stand firm in the knowledge of who we are in Christ. In Romans 8 verses 37 it says, Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Can I get an amen? We're not just conquerors, we are more than conquerors. That tension loses its grip when we understand that we are empowered by the love of Christ. Remember beloved, there is a battle and the devil will never forget it, but guess what? The devil's memory isn't the problem. It's his defeat that he can't seem to shake off. Colossians 2 verses 15 proclaims, And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a shoe of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Jesus didn't just win, he triumphed openly, displaying his victory for all of creation to see. That's the kind of triumphant life he invites us into. The devil thought he had it all figured out, but Jesus went right into the heart of hell and snatched the keys of death and Hades. Revelation 1 verses 18 records Jesus saying, I am he that liveth, and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. The devil may have thought he had the upper hand, but Jesus turned the tables and now we hold the keys. So my brothers and sisters, the moment you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you step into a legacy of victory. You become a winner, a victor. Revelation 21 verses 7 declares, he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God and he shall be my son. What a glorious promise. Through Christ we overcome and we inherit all things. If you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, today is your day of victory. Romans 10 verses 9 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Confess, believe and step into the victorious life that Christ has prepared for you. When you make that life-changing decision, you become a part of God's family, and His love and victory become your inheritance. So, my friends, embrace your identity as a winner, a victor, and live the abundant life that God has destined for you. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who loves you. 